Let's do some applications involving right triangles. So I'm going to draw a right triangle so I can identify some general angles and sides. So at the bottom left, I'll call this angle A, so I'll use a capital letter for that. So then the other angle at the top there will be angle B. The sides that are opposites will be the lowercase letters. So the side opposite angle A, I'll call lowercase a, and the side opposite angle B will be lowercase b. So then this 90 degree angle would have been angle C, so the side opposite, opposite that would be lowercase c. Okay, so for example, let's say angle A is 80 degrees, and the side opposite of that angle, or side A, is 4. So I'm going to draw this triangle so we can identify what's missing. So the first thing is that angle A is 80 degrees. So 90 degrees would be straight up and down, so a little to the right of that. Okay, so side, or angle A is 80 degrees. And the side opposite that is 4. So that means that we're missing, I'm going to use a different color. At the top there, this is angle B. And the side opposite that would be side B. And then the side opposite angle, the 90 degree angle would be side C. So the first thing I can do is find angle B pretty easily because I have the other two angles. The triangles make up 180 degrees. So to find angle B, I'm going to subtract the two given angles from 180. So 180 minus the 90 minus the 80. So angle B is going to be 10 degrees. So you can see from our picture that it is a pretty small angle. To find side B and C, I'll start with side B. We're going to use the fact that this is a right triangle. We're going to use right triangle trigonometry with the given information. So the 80 degrees involving the given information and what I'm looking for will be our tangent function because we have opposite and we're looking for adjacent. So the tangent of 80 degrees is opposite over adjacent, so 4 over B. So solving for B, we would have 4 over the tangent of 80 degrees. That's an exact answer. In our question here, we're asked to round. So the first thing I'll do on my calculator is make sure I'm in the right mode. So under mode, I'm going to check that I have degrees. Okay, so then 4 divided by the tangent of 80 in degrees. So we're looking at about uh, 0 0.71. Okay, so all that's left to do is find side C. Now I could do the same thing again using my 80 degrees. I could use opposite over hypotenuse. That would be our sine function. Or I could use the fact that this is the right triangle, so Pythagorean theorem applies. It doesn't matter. I think I'm going to stick with my right triangle trigonometry, just so I don't have to use an approximation for my answer. So for side C, I'm going to use opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of 80 degrees is 4 over C. So then solving for C, I would get 4 over sine 80 degrees. And I get about 4.06. Okay, so I've successfully found all of the angles in the sides. Let's try another one where I give you two sides in one angle. So in this one, let's say that side B is 2 and side C is 5. Okay, so in our picture we have on the bottom side of 2 and then the hypotenuse would be 5. Again, we're told it's a right triangle. So we're missing side A, and then it's angle A, and then angle B. So this time, because I have two of the sides, and this is the right triangle, I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem to identify side A. So 2 squared plus A squared is 5 squared. So A squared is 25 minus 4, or 21. So A is the square root of 21. And that would be approximately uh, 4.58. Okay, 
it's 90 to find angle, angle A or angle B. It really doesn't matter which one. So we're going to start with angle A. And again, using the fact that this is a right triangle, I can use right triangle trigonometry. So the given information with angle A would be the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So the adjacent and the hypotenuse would be our cosine. So the cosine of angle A is going to be 2 over 5. So to find angle A, I need to undo cosine, so it's going to be the inverse cosine. So that's our exact answer. And then it's an approximation, inverse cosine of 2 over 5. And this is in degrees, so 66.42 degrees. We could do the same thing with angle B. I would use opposite over hypotenuse, so that would be our sine function. Or we can use the fact that this is a right, or this is a triangle just in general, so that the angles would add up to 180 degrees. So if I want to find angle B, I'm going to take 180 minus that 90, minus angle A of 66.42. Again, this was an approximation, so this is also going to be an approximation. So 90 minus 66.42 is about 23.58 degrees. So again, solving the right triangle just means to find everything that's missing. So now we have all the angles and we have all the sides. So let's look at one more example, uh, more of a, a word problem. So we'll have to draw the triangle that this is representing. And it says that a building is 400 feet high, casting a shadow of 60 feet long. What is the angle of elevation of the sun? So the first thing I would do is definitely draw the picture. First of all, we have a building. That is 400 feet high. It's casting a shadow of 60 feet long. So if the shadow is in front of the building, then that means that the sun is behind the building. So it's moving like that. So assuming that the building is perpendicular with the ground, we would have a right triangle. So then the question is, what is the angle that we're looking for? So it says the angle of elevation. So elevation angles always move upward. So that means we're looking for the angle at the bottom. Call that theta. So using the fact that this is right triangle, we use right triangle trigonometry. So we have opposite and adjacent, so the tangent function. So the tangent of theta is 400 feet over 60 feet. Feet just going to cancel. So if I want to get theta by itself, we're going to take its inverse. So the inverse tangent of 400 over 60 this will be in degrees is 81.47 degrees.